Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to get the next generation of Office called Microsoft 365 for free. Please keep in mind, like Google Docs or Sheets are web-based apps, Microsoft has also focused all its attention on bringing Office to the web. All its latest and shiny features now center around the web and its name has been changed to Microsoft 365 as well, so it's obvious in future we will have to use it on the web. Luckily, Microsoft 365 is currently free, so I recommend that you immediately sign up for the free version by watching this step-by-step -step video guide. Because once you reserve your copy now, you can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint and more for free on the web for a lifetime. Microsoft will close this offer soon. In case you delay and don't avail this opportunity, later you will then have to pay a monthly subscription for using Microsoft 365 Office apps. So I think you should hurry up and sign up now. If you go to microsoft365.com or office.com, you can sign up for free edition of Microsoft 365 Office. But I'll show you a better way to access all your Office programs from Microsoft 365 in one place. So first open the start menu and you can notice the Office icon here. It's pre-installed on any Windows 10 and 11. If it's Windows 10, we need to do a small update to this app before we use it. Since my PC has also Windows 10, so I'll open the Microsoft Store to get the update first. Next, search Microsoft 365 in the Microsoft Store. And finally click the update to update the app. Once the update is done, close the Store app. And from the Start menu, launch the Microsoft 365 Office app now. At this screen, if you haven't got an account, then create one now. Otherwise, just sign in to get access to online version of Office. Now that you are signed in, click this icon to see all available free apps. Let's test and use Microsoft Word. The web version of Office 365 opens in a browser. Just press the F11 key to view it in a full screen mode. Also close the side pane and switch the ribbon to classic to see all available commands. Let's generate a text of two paragraphs with the rand command. If you want, you can also type by speaking. For that, click the dictate button. By clicking on this gear icon, apart from English, you can also select your regional language for dictation. Let's type a few lines using dictate command. People of the world, do you know that Israel commits atrocities on the people of Palestine? Not even their children are spared. Don't be neutral because only animals are neutral. Search the internet to find out the truth and if you think Palestinians are being abused, then speak up. Raise your voice against this cruelty and oppression. Next, I would like to mention that the document is automatically saved online. But if you want to save your document to your PC, you use download command. Also, when you open a document from your PC, it's first uploaded to an online drive called OneDrive. You can click here to open your Microsoft OneDrive. And then click the document you want to open. Finally, let's take a look at Microsoft Designer application. It includes some very useful apps like Image and Design Creator, Remove Background, Album and Sticker Creator, and also Brand Kit Creator, all of which are free to use. Let's quickly see how to create an AI image with Image Creator. First, type a description in Image Creator's prompt of what you want to see, and then click Generate. Next, you can click the image if you want to download or use it somewhere. Let's go back to Microsoft Designer dashboard page and finally get a glimpse of Design Creator application as well. In this app, for example, I'll type this description to create a Facebook post for a charity event. As you can see, Microsoft Designer has generated different variations. I can also click the customize button to further change this design. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I wanted to show you how you could get genuine Microsoft Office entirely for free. Goodbye.